What is going on guys? Today we are taking a look at the i500 Pro TWS, aka the iPods Pro clone. But before we jump into the details on these guys, I just want to say that if this is your first time to the channel, welcome to Plug and Play. My name is Jdub, and the goal of this channel and of this video are to help you guys make a better tech buying decision. Now, if that sounds like something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to the channel, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any other videos. Now, with that said, let's jump in to the review. Before we jump into the unboxing, I do want to say that the, the seller of these devices did actually send me these out to do this review. They sent them free of charge. However, they are not paying me and they are not sponsoring this video in any way. The experiences that I have with this product are my own, again, to help you guys make the best tech buying decision that you possibly can. Now with that out of the way, let's unbox these and see what we get. All right, guys, so here they are. Now, before we get started, uh, the company MGET did want me to give you a few disclaimers about what you're about to see. Um, there's a few things that are going to be slightly different, and I'll point them out as we go. The very first one has to do with the packaging itself. Now, this is a very early uh, branded model that they sent out to me. They wanted to get this out to me as soon as they could, so they sent this one out. Everything that you will get when you order the package will be a little bit different, so let me explain how that is the case. Um, on this one, you're going to see that I've got a couple of orange stickers over here covering up some uh, some um, some actual official branding and that will not be present they, this box will be completely white with the picture of it on the front um, and some details on the back so the box that it will come in will be slightly different but it will be um, less officially branded let's just say that um, and so they wanted me to make sure that I made that apparent but the box itself will be the same size which is the exact same size as the AirPod Pro package as well um, opening this guy up here we got the standard books and manuals. Now, all of these are I, these are exactly the same ones that you would get if you actually bought the legitimate version. So you get legit, legit, legit branded uh, manuals, which is awesome. Um, the packaging itself, we got the AirPods here. We'll take a look at those in just a second. Um, and then you get your micro USB cable. And in the packaging, you will also get multiple sizes of the ear tips. So um, that, those are a couple things that are gonna be a little bit different. So as far as the case goes, it, it looks identical. It's absolutely perfect. Wireless charging is on here as well. You get wireless charging, which is absolutely fantastic. So we should see an orange dot pop up here on the wireless charger. We turn it on. Yep, there you go. So there's your wireless charging active, which is perfect. Um, you also have your lightning cable down here in the bottom, which is great. But other than that, guys, it looks pretty darn close to identical. The one other thing that they wanted me to mention is that when you order these off of the website, right here below the hinge, you will get the actual branding to make them look even more convincingly real. So um, that will be coming. Any orders that are placed off of the link down in the description below will also have that. So keep that in mind, uh, which is really good to know. So the first thing um, that I want to take a look at, and I want to, I want to just let you guys know is that these are the i500 TWS. These are the i500 Pro TWS. Basically, feature-wise, they're identical, okay? You're not gonna have active noise cancellation on these. I just wanna throw that out there up front. Keep that in mind. Active noise cancellation is currently not available on the i500 Pro, so that is one major feature that is missing from the AirPod Pros, right? So these are these. this is where the cloning comes to an end, right? So feature-wise, there's not feature parity there. I've seen a few reviews that say that active noise cancellation is there, and I've got a tree from the manufacturer that that is not the case. They do not currently have them in the i500 Pro TWS, so keep that in mind. What basically they've done is they've taken the feature set here and they've put it in a new case and a new shell um, that looks identical to the AirPod Pros. So if you're going for a clone, if you're going for that visual look if you're looking if you want it to look like you got the actual airpod pros which is you know which is the, that's what i think a lot of people are looking for here this is going to do that for you you're just going to be at this point right now you don't have all the features that you do have um on the actual airpod pros okay so keep that in mind uh but going forward so let's pull these guys out here um when you pull these out of the case you know case snaps really nice just like the actual one does um but the clones themselves look really really convincingly good Okay, they look really, really nice. Um, overall, everything branding wise looks really good. You got your gel ear tips here, which is fantastic. Noise isolation, audio quality, definitely enhanced. Um, so the, the thing that I want you to understand is these are the i500 Pros, okay? These are the i500s, right? With that in mind, what they've done is they basically transferred them over. So basically what you have here is the audio quality from the i500s, but with the ear tips, you get an enhanced audio quality overall there, okay? The other thing that you're gonna be missing and you're gonna find this out very quickly is that pressure sensitive control on the stem here that is present on the AirPod Pros is not available here yet on 
the i500 pro tws okay so those are not this 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 doesn't do anything here really okay um you have standard touch controls like you did on the i500s so these are gonna act a lot like airpod 2s but they look exactly like you're wearing airpod pros so now with all that said let me put these guys in and show you what they look like and we'll go over some other things so another thing that you're probably asking is, do these have the AirPod pop-ups? And yes, they do. The problem is, is that I don't have an Apple device. I'm an Android guy, okay? Uh, these do work perfectly fine with Android. You pair them just like any other Bluetooth device. Um, but I don't have an Apple device that is actually running Android, or that is running iOS 13.2. So I can't demo that for you. However, I have seen it in multiple reviews and I have assurance from the manufacturer and from their website that these do have the AirPod Pro uh, flow. So when you, when you turn these guys on, you put them close to a pair of AirPods or, you know, close to an iPhone, um, you're going to pop up and it's going to do the full flow exactly as you would expect. So that's great. So I've got them in. Um, here's what they look like. Let me get up here a little bit closer so you guys can see. This is what they look like in my ear. So they look really, really good. They're looking like some sweet AirPod Pros. So right now, if I went out on the street, people would be walking around. People would look at me and they'd be like, yo, that guy's wearing the AirPod Pros. Looking tight, bro. Looking tight, right? It, but I'm not right clearly um, and that's what a lot of people are looking for right now this is the, it's really cool I mean and, and not to discount them okay so the one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to make these sound like they're bad earbuds or anything like that realistically I like the i500 pro TWS okay I'm a big fan and the sound is actually pretty darn good I was actually fairly impressed with them at the cost that you get them with now when you add that that rubber uh, you know ear tip on there you get that noise you know the noise um, isolation right no noise cancellation I almost said noise cancellation there's no active noise cancellation on these but you get that noise isolation and actually it, it just enhances the volume it enhances the bass quality and it enhances everything and it blocks out a lot of that outside noise so um, if they, they're very very good sound I'm very very happy with the way that they sound you know with that rubber tip in there as well and the new design they stay in so well they really just kind of hang on in there definitely a step up from the i500 TWS and the you know the standard airpods um, so overall they're winning on both counts so battery life wise you've got 15 hours of total battery life now that's four hours you know, four hours of listening time on the earbuds themselves and then you have additional charges with the charging case so total package total daily usage you're looking at about 15 hours i was able to actually get about four and a half hours on my testing with these i've been using them for the last couple days listening to them on my commutes and things like that um, and i've i've been able to get a pretty a pretty solid four and a half hours now i will mention the reason why i think that is is because I am only listening to them at about 70% volume. These guys get really, really loud. Like for me, they were uncomfortably loud. So if you like loud earbuds, these are definitely some that you should check out. And so as I mentioned, you also have the touch controls, which is great. So you've got all your play, pause controls on these guys. Um, when you pull them out of your ear and put them back in, you get play and pause. Um, you also get an in-ear sensor chime, right? So it knows when they're in your ears. The in-ear sensors are also present in here. So you get those play pause features when you're pulling them out and things like that, which is great. You know, you get up to the front of Starbucks line, you pop this guy out, it pauses your music, you do your order, you put it back in and you're on your way. Music starts playing again. So overall, you know, another great feature of the, of the AirPods just in general and those are also present here so with all the good things that I have to say about them what don't I like about them first off the big thing for me is just all around battery life right I was able to squeak out four and a half hours and for the most part when it comes to comparing it with other you know wireless earbuds in the space you know five six seven hours even eight hours is kind of becoming the place that we're at at this point and so four and a half hours is pretty small granted you have to keep in mind with all of these negatives and all of these positives what you're getting is you're getting the airpod pro look Okay, it, these guys look just like them. You could walk around town, nobody would know the difference. That's kind of what you're going for. So you're gonna have to deal with some limitations here. Um, obviously, another big one is no active noise cancellation, right? I mean, what do you, what can you really expect? I mean, these are these are very new, very hot off the press. They did a really good job at making them look really good. Now they just got to refine making them act the same. So I think we'll see active noise cancellation in the future, just not available yet. So whether that's a pro or a con, I can't really say. If you're looking for feature parity, if you're looking for exact copies of the AirPod Pros, we're not quite there yet. So don't expect that. But you're also paying $200 less. So I'm not sure you can complain much. So with all the pros and the cons considered, what do I think? Do I think these are worth 
purchasing. And I have to say, without really much question, absolutely, right? If it, it, you know, depending on your needs, okay. If you're looking for a very high quality pair of earbuds, you know, with active noise cancellation, long battery life, wireless charging, you know, impeccable sound, you know, ultra super high quality, these aren't the earbuds for you. Now, if you don't want to buy the real thing, you don't want to spend that that amount of cash. You know, it's not, you know, having the real thing doesn't really matter to you. It's more of you know having the look, having the feel kind of you know fitting in maybe or you know just kind of wanting to get that Apple feel you know you want it to work with your lightning cables you want it to you know pair with your phone in that special Apple way um, these are the real deal these I would definitely recommend if you checked any of those boxes um, you know at a fraction of the price you know great sound quality okay battery life wireless charging lightning cables and the look and feel I gotta say they're pretty darn sweet so with that said, at the time of making this video, using the link down in the description below, heading over to the MGET website, you're going to find these guys at $89.99, so $200 less than what you would buy them for if you were buying the real thing. So, uh, you know, I can't argue. <laughs> you get what you get, uh, and I think they're pretty darn sweet. So. With all that said, all that into consideration, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you want to know more, you want to ask me anything, you want to have a conversation about these, please hit me up in the comment section below. I'd love to have a chat with you guys like I always do. But other than that, guys, that is it for me, and I will see you in the next video.